Locations. Silver props. Silver props owned by Marlo Hopgood. Let's get out of here. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife, and finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Anything going on here? Clues? Oh, the newspaper. Maybe I'll have another flashback. Nope, no flashback with that newspaper. What? No! Don't even think about going in there. Uh, newspaper here. Is that flashback newspaper? No. Let's get out of here. I'm out. I'm gonna get this guy to drive now. I'm tired of driving. Those bad things happen. Mm, was it P? Try to keep up, Stefan. Bounce. I'm coming. Oh, let's, let me press hold down E. You drive. Yes. You case notes. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average kitty broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. On here. So Jessica was the person we spoke in the hospital. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. I don't remember her saying anything about seeing this prop. Okay, let's go in. A golden handle, that means I can go in. Bear. Anything? Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Seems a bit reluctant, maybe. Suspicious. Uh, if I got that, let's have a look around here. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Props. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. This looks like a shit. Oh, I wonder what kind of movies they've been making. Ah, uh, it's from uh, that thing. Remember from the beginning? There was it was inside a car. There should be a clue. Wouldn't that be a part of a clue? You should at least say something about it. You didn't say anything. What else? I've got some... Oh no, no, it's the same thing. Let's stop looking at that. Some pills? The girls were doped. Yes, to manipulate. Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? And it was a whole auntie. Well, one auntie and a few other people. Something here? One of these things again.
ones. A lot of these weird head things. Drunken heads. I'm out. Oh, there's a real skull. It's a two way mirror. It's weird. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. What? The mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. I don't know what were they doing that for? It's definitely something they were blackmailing that guy, so it must have been blackmailing him. Mark Bishop, they were blackmailing him. They filmed him doing something inappropriate with Jessica while she was dubbed. Or maybe he was dubbed. No no. He he had like he liked young people. What's that noise? It's like a little flan. This is going to help us. Nope. Is it like a fan noise? Anything here? Nothing mm. significant. Oh, okay. This place is tied to the crash by the shrunken head. So I should be aware of that in questioning. Like a fucking toilet? Alright. Look, I found it. No clues here. Is there meant to be a clue here? Let's talk to this fool. What now? Association with Bishop. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Mm -hmm. Is he lying or telling the truth or what? I mean, they were best friends. Mm -hmm. No, he's lying. Because they filmed, he's lying. He has a lie. Go for three. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. Yeah. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? The shrunken head. Do we have shrunken head? Oh, uh, yep, shrunken head. Let's fuck him up. You should get your facts straight before you come in here and start shooting off that mouth of yours. Okay, mess that up. Bastard. Shrunken head was a good one. Oh what? Well. Let's see if we can talk to him again. Uh, I think we're gonna hit a dead end or something, yeah. He won't talk to me now. Where am I gonna go next? That's where we are now. Uh, intuition? Show clues. Are the clues through here? It's like this way. I could have come out here and looked at the clues. Seriously? No. 
Unfinished heads. There's the head. That was a clue. <laughs> so this is where you sprang from. Oh, you knew that. I had to find that piece and come out here. They didn't even give me a clue that I had to come out here and check. So I can go out and check. Oh god. This is one of those flashback newspapers. Let's just have a look. Dope. Flood streets. Cops chase war. Surplus contraband. Press. See the story behind the headline. Go on then. I, uh, have to call you back. Seen this guy before? Sit down, Courtney. I won the flashbacks before. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning. I know the actor. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Don't know his name. Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Jeez. <laughs> Lenny, but I don't know what's going so on. How is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes. And Surrettes. Yeah, Surrettes. Great. And put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. I want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? I wonder how this ties into the main story. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Well. You think? <laughs> okay. Overdose deaths hit all time high. That was definitely interesting. We have got, what, a few more clues left? We collected three newspapers, 13 to collect. Uh, yeah? What's here? There's a false wall. How was I meant to know that? Come out here and find this false wall. Oh, there's a drink. That looks like a ball. It's another false wall? <laughs> no. What's this? Okay, this is. Go through here, have a look. Camera. Hiding a camera. What is this? Who is this? It's a little bunch of ladies. Meant to be anything behind here? That's where I was, it sort of... It was like a little trick or something. Beer? I meant to look at the wall? they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood? Ooh. Bishop. Bishop pitches. New clue. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. He was making some uh, naughty movies. Naughty, naughty. Let's murder everybody. Forget the Tommy gun. I found my knife.
What's this? Oh no, this is definitely a bad, good clue. Interest. Move it around. And it. Further. Investigation. Film. What happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Disappeared. That was some hard clues. Oh, wait, 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 wait. what's going on here? Not all of them, though. The one left somewhere. I feel like that's all of them in here. So, I go here. The fake. This whole thing's painted on. I go right here. Something here? This light really wants me to look this way. Oh, we looked at this. I don't know why I'm looking again. Look at the other one. Still a clue here somewhere. Was this a clue? This was a clue as well. Okay. Got the mold. That intuition thing was amazing. Definitely gonna use that more often. I need to do some side missions. Yeah, I think there are side missions in this game. So uh try to do them. Give him the business. Bloody liar. Warehouse. Whereabouts of Bishop? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Really? Blah, blah, blah. But you're his friend. So would he leave? Let's go down. Because I don't know if he's lying. I'm warning you, Hopgood, if you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it... Wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Zero correct. Bells. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? We found a bent copper. Is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important it's one. It's just my intuition. that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. 